Welcome to Half History Will Travel. I am your host, the Wilder Historian, and today we will take a dive into the famous Kentucky County of Harlan, where in the early 20th century an uproar emerged as to whether that county possessed the oldest living person on earth. In the fall of 1919, the Kentucky State Fair took place in Louisville, Kentucky. This fair attracted people from all over the state and the country, but the most fascinating person to enter the fairgrounds that year was John Shell. During the fair, it came to national attention that Shell might be the oldest living person on earth. By the following year, journalists from as far away as New York and California converged on the mountain county of Harlan to interview the man who was possibly the oldest man on earth. John lived in a small rustic cabin on Greasy Creek, a common type of housing found in southern Appalachia during the early 1900s. He had moved to Harlan County with his father in 1816 and had remained in the county for over a hundred years. Through the journalist stories, we'll learn that Shell was a gunsmith in his early days, making flintlock rifles and gaining an impressive reputation for making some of the best. His guns, with his personal mark behind the lock, were highly sought out by collectors of firearms. After nearly a year of journalists interviewing John and his family about his accurate age, two thorough investigations was launched to determine the man's age. Although one investigator is suspect, that investigator was hired by the Chattanooga Medicine Company, whose elixir, Thedford's Black Draught, was supposedly a contributor to Mr. Shell's longevity. The Chattanooga Medicine Company is a great example of snake oil salesmen of the 19th century. We've all seen movies depicting the Wild West where a man rolls into town with a wagon full of elixirs that are alleged to cure all kinds of ailments. Step right up and purchase this amazing medicine that cures whooping cough, stubbed toes, sore throats, bad neighbors, and cholera. Of course, we would get laws in the early 20th century that would regulate these alleged cure-alls, and the snake oil salesmen would eventually fade away, but they still exist to one degree or another. John Shell was probably exploited by this medicine company to get national attention for his special elixir, but that does not diminish the story. Mr. Shell was a very old man and had a rich history in Harlan County. The Chattanooga Medicine Company got their wish. The story was published in newspapers all over the country. Over the course of about a year, Harlan County, Kentucky took center stage for many people who sought to find the oldest living person. Although not the oldest living person, he was probably around 112 years old, being born in 1808. That means he was born just 16 years after Kentucky became a state, was 18 years old when Thomas Jefferson passed away in 1826, saw America fight five wars, the War of 1812, the Mexican-American War, the Civil War, the Spanish-American War, and World War I. His life is fascinating to think about all that he saw in his lifetime and how much the world changed. When he was born, railroads were not common and by the fall of 1919, airplanes had been invented and used in war. John Shell stands as an interesting character in the enormous history of Harlan, Kentucky. It is sad that the stories coming out of Harlan would not be good-hearted like finding the oldest living person. But just a few years after the story of Shell was published, Harlan would captivate the nation with its internal wars centered around unionizing coal miners. I hope you learned something fascinating about Harlan County, Kentucky and the tri-state area at large. So have a great day.